Here we go, my little uh, demonstration, 3D printed, DIN rail demo. So, a quick overview what I have here. Two Arduino Unos with uh, RS485 shields attached. One relay and a sensor, which will kind of detect what's happening in front. Okay? So, I also got the battery here. Hopefully you can see that. This is just like a uh, normal power bank you can buy on Amazon or eBay. Also 3D printed, nice, nice and modular. What else you, you can expect? So, here we go. Before I actually go and explain all of this and how it works, here is something else. This is what I used to uh, base my entire project on. I have showcased this before and I will include the link somewhere up there. Oh, I can't see the finger. Oh well. So we can have a general idea of what I'm trying to do. And my latest uh, thing is to modify this, the actual holder that I'm at the moment thinking to just stick to a wall and have things attached. I'm thinking to actually make one for a comms cabinet and I happen to have a 29 or 26 U uh, cabinet available to me and why I can modify this to go where the server normally goes and this will connect to the metal, metal bars that hold the one you rack. So that might be an interesting uh, thing to do especially as you can add anything you want like maybe a temperature sensor, humidity sensor inside the rack um, really whatever you want, doesn't have to be an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi, it can be something much more serious if you've got access and know how to use better more industrial uh, electronics and sensors you can go with that so yeah, back to the uh, main bit so here we go what should I go with first? Ah, this uses Modbus. Yeah, and I'm obviously using the uh, wired version, as you can obviously tell. Uh, I am thinking to explore the Ethernet variant because it's also available. And that may, might make it much more easier because I'll be just using the uh, existing Ethernet wires instead of, you know, having your own stuff and have to plug them all in, yada, yada, yada. Um, the general idea of this little demo is for people to understand what this can do in a nutshell. You have your sensor, which is wired to the shield, which connects to the Arduino Uno, and once there is an object in front, it will send the signal down the wire, go to the other shield, and go to the Arduino Uno and it will pass on the relevant message of activating or deactivating the relay and as we all know and if you don't google it it's very easy this can control as in energize is the right word things basically on and off on and off to your lighting lamps, fridges, motors, other stuff whatever floats your boat so now, a quick demo, start this, oh, it should be all powered up now, so hopefully you can tell that there is something lit, an LED, I think the red one is visible, so that's good, the other one is green, but uh, it doesn't look like it's easy to see, oh, it doesn't matter, so now, Boom. Yeah. And it's energized. And goes away and goes in. In, out, in, out. Now you probably have noticed that there is a little delay between when the hand comes over and sometimes when it deactivates the relay. Oh, that was too close. Uh, 
It's because these two work on oh, Dre. Activate. <laughs> you mean when I don't want to? <coughs> Dre. These two have a thread, yeah, running, and it probes the sensor every second, um, which basically means that uh, there will be a one second lag if I'm not into the tuned in the rhythm of the of the Arduino Uno. However, you can easily change that in the code. And, uh, you know, make you probe the sensor, I don't know, every 200 milliseconds. Uh, so the response time is going to be much faster. However, uh, I thought just for general purpose use, one second is more than enough. Uh, and if you need more, obviously you can configure it. <laughs> Great. You can configure it to do whatever. You can have it every two seconds, every three seconds. It's obviously all up to you. And uh, just one last thing that I would like to show. These printed really well. I was actually surprised that my old one how i3 duplicator managed this. Um, so yeah, it's one of the, I know, shorter, one of the biggest parts I printed, like uh, width and length. I usually print just IoT enclosures, which are not that big. But I digress, doesn't matter. There's also a nice handle here, so I can carry this thing with me uh, to showcase to people what it can do. Anyhow, I think I'm starting to ramble now. This is going to get bigger and better with more stuff, so I can build and uh, make things. And obviously, if you haven't seen before, this is like mentioned in the previous video, these things are all modular, so you can attach and detach things on the fly if you're prototyping. Um, so I find this is super cool and useful when I actually start deploying things for more than just a demo prototype thing. Um, but yeah, obviously just while I'm talking about it, things can be moved yeah, and adjust it where they are. For this particular demonstration, it makes no difference. But uh, I'm sure for other applications, this will be super useful. So yeah, that's it for today. I'm done. I've been rambling for too long. Have a good one and...